Hey everybody, thank you for joining us here on Championship Wrestling for Too Early Not to Sleep. If this is your first time coming to us for a Too Early Not to Sleep, the way we do it on a Sunday that has a WWE pay-per-view, we might do it for Bound for Glory, not sure yet. It goes from too late to sleep to too early to sleep. So we do that because we tie this to a discussion thread at the Reddit Country Club, which will be linked in the description down below. Uh, we used to start with WCPW, but now that they've moved loaded to Saturdays, we can start off with the biggest show of the week, Raw. Uh, this week on Raw, we saw Kevin Owens celebrating his win from last week uh, with the Universal Championship. While we still didn't get any answers yet from Triple H about why he did what he did, we did see Seth Rollins come to complain about those actions, which led to this. We hand out rematches. Personally, I have no love lost for Seth Rollins. And you're going to face Kevin Owens for the Universal Championship at Clash of the Champions. After the main event of the night, we also got this. Roman, I, I can tell you want a piece of Kevin Owens in that WWE Universal Championship. So next week on Monday Night Raw, I'm going to put you and Kevin one on one. And if you can defeat Kevin Owens next week on Raw, we're going to make that match at Clash of the Champions a triple threat match. So both Reigns and Rollins were wronged in the Fatal 4-Way last week by the same man, Triple H. And one of them interrupted a scheduled segment uh, ceremony and almost got suspended for it, while the other waited until another segment, the main event match, was over to come down and voice his concerns. Guess which one of them got a title match handed to him, and which one now has to work for it. Also on Raw were two widely panned segments. Uh, first, Gallows and Anderson brought out, through the miracle of time travel, the old day. I would bring you a clip of that, but to be honest, I just don't really feel like it. I wasn't a big fan of it, and what I did like didn't show up in the clips on YouTube that I grabbed these from, so I'm just skipping that. Uh, what I do have is a piece of the second widely panned segment, this one featuring Sasha Banks giving uh, some quote-unquote bad news. There's a saying that every journey has an end. And every story has a final chapter. And I have some bad news. Actually, Miss Piggy, the bad news wasn't for you. It was for Charlotte. Let her know at Clash of Champions, that title is coming back to me. For those of you that, while watching that, originally thought that perhaps uh, that was going to be a legit retirement, uh, here's a hint in the future about pretty much any of the four horsewomen. If they are giving legitimately bad news and they don't have their faces covered in tears, it's not going to happen that that's a big tell on their part all four of them just cry like babies moving on to smackdown uh we had the semifinals of the tag team tournament and while Heath slater and rhino were able to beat the hype bros the bigger story was what happened to american alpha after they took the usos out of the tournament i never thought i'd see it happen they just got overzealous oh, oh! what the hold on Trying to, they're trying to end this young man's career. Don't do this. Don't. Come on. Oh, the leg. As a result, American Alpha have been medically eliminated. As a result, tonight there will be a loser's bracket playoff between the Hype Bros and the newly healed Usos to determine Slater and Rhino's opponent, putting the underdog faces in a seat of advantage going into the finals. Okay. Uh, the CWC the next night gave us the last of the quarterfinal matches, including this match between TJ Perkins and Rich Swan. Back kick. Oh, a side move saw Lance on his feet, and he may have injured that knee. Yeah, he tweaked his knee there, I think. Springboard into the drop kick Too by slow. Perkins. Springboard into the Frankensteiner by Perkins. Hesitation. Oh, wow! No jokes on that one. Uh, just if you're not watching CWC, why not? Seriously, leave me a comment and tell me why you're not. You wouldn't want to watch that. It, it's some of the best wrestling in the world on the network. 
that presumably you're already subscribed to. Uh, Lucha Underground returned this week for Season 3. I won't be bringing you the cold open uh, because I can't do it justice. But check your cable company's video on demand if you haven't seen it yet because it's possibly the most crazy couple minutes of non-wrestling on a wrestling program this year, if not this decade so far. It's really weird. Uh, we did get a match between two of the biggest names in Lucha today, Rey Mysterio Jr. and Pentagon Dark, formerly Pentagon Jr. But listen, let me tell you something right now. How awesome is it for Pentagon Dark to be in the match with the iconic Rey Mysterio Jr.? Here's a guy who has done nothing but oh! lift up Lucha Underground by his violence. Now he's stepping up. He's in the Remember ring with the king. On top, should be the advantage. Tackle Frankensteiner. <laughs> I won't be covering Impact this week because I already covered it in a look at Rockstar Spud's attack on Braxton Sutter that you can find here, and a live uh, reaction to Deleter Decay that you can find here, and doesn't leave much for today, so that brings us to WCPW Loaded. Uh, this week they had a Rumble style battle royal where it was two to start, one person comes in every so often as opposed to everybody starting in the ring together, uh, to determine the opponent for Kurt Angle at the upcoming WCPW pay-per-view. And here are a few highlights from that match. Records, but I don't want to mention their Royal Rumble records. On, you wake up. Well, you're starting to get a little bit agitated. During that Kirby. segment I was talking about, it gave Liam Slater a bloody nose. What Kirby did and do it better. Oh, doesn't feel like a veteran of his prestige has to actually participate. What's the Guerrero? Well, he can't even speak English. Well, he's not missing much. With that newspaper. Of toll on everybody else in this ring. Which, but oh, hold on. What's he got here? Yeah, the Guerrero. No way. Oh, look at the strength. My God. Look at the power of that mighty, mighty wrestler, Joe Coffey. No one home. Oh, angle slam! Angle slam! Angle slam by Joe Hendry! No, no wait! No, oh, oh, and he's oh, out! Carter oh. is out! Joe Hendry! Jeez, Joe Hendry's geez, gonna geez, face geez. Kurt Angle! I would say that I am excited to see what uh, Joe Hendry is planning on doing for his entrance video against Kurt Angle, but knowing WCPW, we're probably just gonna see it in the upper right corner of a long shot with the WCPW announcers speaking over it. Because they don't know why people care about Joe Hendry somehow. Uh, that catches us up for this week. Uh, be sure to join us at the Red Eye Country Club, not just for the Too Early Not to Sleep discussion, but also tonight for the Backlash Live discussion thread. Please hit like or subscribe if those things appeal to you uh, and are appropriate to do. Until the next video, thank you for watching this one. As always, I am the Tramp. Cheers.